Hey guys, welcome in. It's time for my first ever anime drawing tutorial. Tonight, we are going to be putting together an anime figure. We're going to do this really simply, going back to traditional pencil and paper, sketching out. We're going to start off with just some very, very cheap printer paper. Make sure that you have a few sheets down, make it nice and soft for drawing on, on a hard surface. This is going to make it a lot easier. And then we're only going to need four other things. One, a very cheap disposable pencil. Really good because when they're blunt, you can just pop them out again. A rubber because we all make mistakes. And for this purposes, a ruler. The most important thing you're going to need for this, make sure you've got a lovely cup of coffee. So to start off with, all we have to do is work out how we're going to lay out our figures. Anime is very, very simple. Um, we use nice, simple lines for it. And it's broken up into sections. Anime's figures are normally broken into what they call head heights. So if we do every head height at two centimeters, we need nine head heights. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This gives us our basic sizes for all our figures. When I draw this, normally I won't now use these um, guidelines, but if you do them, you can draw them a lot fainter than this. I'm drawing a lot heavier than I normally would so that the um, camera picks it up and you guys can see at home. So if you want to follow along on this, make sure you do have plenty of paper down, make it nice and soft, but on a hard surface, so it's not falling all over the place. So we have our nine head heights there. Now today we are going to be doing two figures, just two standard, standard up, full pose, anime ladies. And the way we're going to do this, first off, we're going to start off with the head. Our head is going to go in this top space here, head height. So we're going to start off by drawing a circle. Just keep going around. Everything here is going to be rough. If you're expecting works of art, um, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That's not going to be happening in this. But what we'll do is rough circle shape. And that's going to take up three quarters of this first section. We'll bring down our center line and work out how are we going to want our face to go? That's going to give us our angle and shape of the head. And then just for purposes, we'll bring it around. Give us some shape and an ear just to put things in a bit of perspective. That's our head and that's going to govern whether we're going to see the front or the back of the anime character, whether we're going to see the sides, all goes by the shape and the facing of the head. Now we have the head on, what we want to do is work out a spine, where the spine is going to go. So that is going to take up the next two head heights. So we want the character just with a little bit of curve, nothing special, and it's going to come out around the middle. Once that's done, we want shoulder lines. I know this is going to look a lot like a stick figure, and it really is just a stick figure. So we're going to go shoulder line, and then we want hip line. Don't do your hips and your shoulders in the same lines. It makes for a very, very boring picture. So do your, sh your shoulders one way, maybe try your hips slightly the other way or at less of an angle. So this one, we've got quite a steep angle. Now we're going to have less of a hip angle. Once we have those lines in, we want to put in the chest area. To do this, you want kind of an egg shape. And that's going to fill not the hole. So that's going to come down just over the top and fill down to about halfway between the hip line and your second head height. That's going to be our chest area. Now we have the chest area, we want the hips. So we know that this is going to be the top of our hips there, so we want to kind of bring that over and do this upside down bucket shape.
and that's going to be our hips. Now we have that, kind of looks like everything's all over the place. So what we want to do is put in our front line. We have our spine, that's showing us which way the character is going to be bending, but now we need to show which way the character is going to be facing. And we do this by putting in the chest line. And that is going to basically be around there. Now we have that, we can put in our rib cage for our character. And we can put in, just with these basic shapes, we now have a character that is facing a certain direction. Next, we're gonna move on to arms. When we're doing our arms, we have nice circles prominent in front and lost behind. So you'll only see half that circle, but you're gonna see the whole of this circle. That's gonna really give the effect of the angle that the anime character is standing at. When it comes to how long your arms are gonna be, a good rule of thumb is your elbow is as long as the bottom of your rib cage. So if we swing just the line out from there, I know that my elbow line is gonna be here. And then it's a matter of just joining them up. And we have an arm, or oh, the top of an arm anyway. We'll leave the other arm till after. Once we have that, now what we want to do is join the torso and the rib cage together. With your stomach and stomach muscles, and just about here is where your belly button would be. And we'll start bringing in the back of the rib cage. Now, so the rib cage doesn't come down from here. That kind of looks a little bit weird. It actually comes from the top of your shoulder line. So we start bringing the rib cage down, in, and then back out with the hips. And then from this side, it would be down, in, and then back out the hips. We now have the top of our character. Let's just, um, now we've got that, let's, let's put an arm in up here, just for uh, fun. We can keep that arm out of the way then. This isn't gonna be a hands tutorial or an arm tutorial. This is an overall body tutorial so that's just nice and simple and then we'll just lose this arm behind the character for now now we have basically the top half done we have a nice figure sketch for that what we need to do is put in some legs so what i like to do with them is i generally i'll stick a circle towards the outside edge and then i'll line up where we're going to go so if the top half is taking up four squares uh, four head heights the bottom half is gonna take up another four. So what we do is, I wanna give this a bit of shape, so I'm gonna bring that down and stick our kneecap in. And then, so we bring the leg down just a touch more, and that's where we're gonna start putting our feet. And this leg, let's just bring it in as well, and maybe out just a touch from there to feet again. And it's as simple now as just bringing your lines across, circling your circle, and then back down. And it will be exactly the same for this one, except you're not really going to see too much of it because it's tucked behind this leg. And now for the bottom of your legs, we're going to go out, but we're going to come out a bit and then tuck back in because the shin is not a straight line. And we're going to come out and then up to there and then back in. And we'll do the same for this leg. And the feet, um, just for the feet, say, for example, we're just going to come out and stick in some feet there. We're not going to do anything special with these feet except make it look like she has size 15 feet, which we don't really want. For now it will, it serves a purpose. And then the same for these ones. And 
And that is the first anime character. Everything there is in proportion. Everything there is anatomically correct for an anime character. The last thing to do would be the chest area, but this we're not going too far into um, that kind of area. So all, all I'm going to say is for doing the chest, we'd bring it down from this point and across from this point. And we're just... We're just only going to give shape for this. I'm not going into too much detail. But I think everyone can get the idea. The second character we're going to do, let's um, change the angle that we do. We've done more of a side-on pose on this one. Now we're going to do more of a head-on pose. So we'll do the same thing again. Again, working a lot more harder than I normally would, especially with guidelines. So this character, although this one was side on, this one is very much face on. So instead of adding too much with shapes around the face, it's just going to be that very much, I don't know, block V shape. But we're going to do the same thing again. So let's give it a, a bit of an arch to the spine this time. And maybe a kind of curvature to the shoulders. Let's tilt the hips going the opposite direction. So slightly further away. Not too much of a gradient. Obviously the hips can't move too far out of kilter. So that small amount is quite a lot when it comes to doing hips. So again, we'll now just add in our egg shape. our shoulder circles on we have that and now we kind of want to move into our bucket shape and then give us our front chest line see our front chest line is not far off of our spinal line on this one now we have our front chest line Put in our rib cage again, and then we can bring around. If this helps, you can always do this by bringing around this arc. You can then work out where your elbows are going to be. So we put in a nice um, round elbow and close off our rib cage there and. Probably stick it with the hands. Let's put the hands on the hips. No characters complete without a neck. Right, so now we've got that. Again, we come back to putting our stomach in. Belly button line still on this line. So it would normally dip in slightly there. And then out towards the hip, back in, out towards the hips. We have this line and that's our torso again. So again, we'll go back and put in two more circles, work out. We'll do more of a traditional anime stance on this one where we'll, um, we're gonna invert the legs. So we'll bring the knees in and then down slightly. And then this one, we're going to go down and then out slightly. And the way we're going to invert the legs really is quite simple. We'll do the same trick where we'll go up and round the bottom. Calf muscle down to ankles. When we're doing this leg, because we're slightly at an angle, it's, your leg's not coming from behind it, it's actually coming from over here. So you are gonna have a bit of a thigh gap there. And back up. Now, instead of 
you being seeing the calf on this side, we're going to put the calf on this side and we're going to invert the way that the legs would generally go. Two quick feet. I'm not very so feet, but we get the idea with these kind of flappers that I'm putting down. And that there would be our second character. There you have it. Two very simple poses. Really nice, easy to follow. Takes only a couple of moments to put one together. I'm going to drop into some time lapse, rub out some of these lines, really show the edges, and then leave the guidelines in place. And there we have it guys, two fully complete animate figures with guidelines. If you found this tutorial helpful, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button down the bottom to make sure you don't miss out on any future tutorials coming out. And if there's anything that you require help with, please leave it in the comments section and hopefully I may actually get around to doing a tutorial one day. I've been ACS, thank you for joining me.